Here is a quick video about an experiment you're very likely to do in Year 12 Chemistry, and that's an experiment to determine the heat of combustion of a fuel or a heat of combustion of something that just, well, anything that burns. As I've said in previous videos, we're looking at energy content, and the heat of combustion is what energy content is sometimes called. It's defined as the energy release per gram or energy release per mole of a fuel. The apparatus that I've got sitting over here is one that you're likely to use when you're calculating this value for different fuels in Year 12 Chemistry. The reason this thing here works is because it allows you to measure two things. One, the grams and the moles, and two, the energy. Let's look at how we find those things using this basic experiment. We've got a spirit burner and we can weigh our spirit burner and work out how much fuel is inside it. If I weigh it before I burn it and after I burn it, I can see how much fuel was used in grams. I can then convert that into moles. That allows me to find one part of my equation. The second part of my equation is energy and water here heats up and it uses 4.18 joules to increase its temperature by one degree for every gram of water. So if I know the mass of water, I can use the Q equals MC delta T equation to then find the energy content. So that's gonna give me a value for energy content or heat of combustion, but there are limitations and issues and reliability problems and accuracy and precision things that we can optimize and just understand about this experiment that makes it not the best thing in the world. Firstly, what is a limitation? What's an issue with this experiment? Well, the energy that you calculate is based on the energy absorbed by the water. We're not taking into account any energy that is escaped from the sides of this particular apparatus. We're also not taking into account any energy that's absorbed by our tripod or our can or beaker. So that means the energy content, so the energy that we calculate from our water will be a lot lower than what was actually released from our fuel, which means we'll calculate a lower energy content every single time. Now that means that our accuracy or the actual value is not right. However, we still can use this to compare fuels. We can see that one is bigger than the other. But so there's limitations. This really finds the comparison, not the exact value. The reliability is based on how many times you do this experiment and get a similar result. If you don't repeat it, or if you don't get a similar result, your data is not reliable.